I worked on the movie Cars, and I came on pretty early in the story process. And the world of the cars wasn't really developed yet. We knew they could drive, but there wasn't much else we knew that they could do. Like, how do they pick up things? The only appendage they had was this antenna, and it kind of looked a little creepy. This, like, independent moving thing. There's this one scene I got when the queen comes back and he tells Sally, Radiator Springs is back on the map. And the script says he produces a map and shows her. And I was like, okay, how does McQueen produce a map? He can't open his doors because that's where his brains are. <sighs> I thought, well, his trunk, he could, he could open his trunk possibly. So the, the first little round I did was he just had a rolled up map on top of this trunk, which was fine. He kind of kicks it off and it lands on the ground. Radiator Springs is on the map. But then I started thinking, what other ways could there be to produce a map? So I have one where he backs up to Sally and opens up his trunk and a map unfolds. Then some of the other guys started getting involved. We just kind of went off on all these possibilities. The king comes into Radiator Springs and he goes, hey, I found this map, you know, you guys are on the map. One where he draws a map with his wheels. I think there's one where he closes his eyes and opens them and the map is printed on his eyelids. And then we started doing weird things like where McQueen stands up on his two back tires and it's clastered to his undercarriage there. And one where he sticks out his tongue and it's on his tongue. A projector from his eye that does a hologram of the world, you know, and there's a map. <laughs> then we started going a little crazy, like Dan Scanlon drew one where he's, it comes out of his tailpipe. <laughs> Steve Purcell loved drawing monkeys in cars, and so the monkey produces the map. <laughs> oh yeah, there's one where McQueen says, hey Sally, I got a new map book. Open it up and turn to page four. And she stares at it, and because she doesn't have fingers, she can't open it up. So they just stare at it, and then 150 years later, they're still sitting there. <laughs> I think, I think after all that, it was basically like, why does he even need to show her a map? 